So whenever I'd buy used cassettes at thrift stores in the, you know, 2000s or so, I would always notice something interesting is that on certain ones, like the artwork was a little bit different than the standard manufactured ones that I remembered from my childhood in the late 80s, early 90s. And you can say, oh, well, I'll give you an example. First on the left side, got uh, Foreigner and the, the Eagles. Um, you see how it's, it's like letterboxed and white on the top and the bottom? And then you got the, on the label side, you got that pinkish red double line thing with the small black letters on it. And then, I, I, I don't know when they switched over to the, uh, I, anecdotally, I've never seen one of the white ones past about 1984, 85. So I'm guessing that, Probably in the later 80s, they started doing them this way. On Here you got GNR and Huey Lewis, like in the black small letters. But anyway, what I found out, these that's not an accident. These were actually called club cassettes, meaning like... Um, so if, if you're like an older millennial, you'll probably remember those commercials from like, you know, Columbia House, you know, order, order 12 for a penny. And, you know, but of course there's sleazy business people and they, you know... It was never actually free. They'd, they'd always, like, sign you up for something else, and you couldn't unsubscribe, you know. Was... So that's what these were. These weren't actually sold in stores. But what's interesting is I read that these supposedly were manufactured with not as good a quality as the regular ones. But my experience, that was always, like, it was always the other way around. I would always love when I'd find one of these because it was almost guaranteed that it would play really smooth and would. they seemed to be a lot better, anecdotally, seemed like they were a lot better taken care of. Than like a, a standard one, like like here's an example. It's my old Lionel Richie can't slow down one. It's like, I mean, I mean that thing is hell. A like it barely plays. I mean, it the felt tip's gone and it like shrieks when you play it. I mean, like it barely works at all. I just I just keep it for sentimental value. But as I said, I've never seen that happen with them. One of the club versions, and I wonder why. I wonder why that is. Does anyone have any personal experience with that from back in the day?